In just a few days, I'm filming a wedding. The problem? I've never done this before. My experience in professional video has been as a news photographer. I'm sure audio is important for interviews, but it's nothing like capturing audio for a wedding. I can't just hold a microphone with an outstretched arm. I'm planning on using lavalier microphones for two reasons. They're easy to conceal, and they're downright effective. In this video, I'll be testing my new wireless lavalier mics alongside this handy recorder. Testing out the microphones wasn't off to a great start. Of course, the, uh, the other mic is a wireless lavalier mic, but what I've noticed is a lot of noise. Listening to this with the headphones, I'm not liking it. Now, I already did a test with this before, and I was really happy with the results. So I don't understand what's changed. Say something, babe. No. Did you put a mic on me? Yeah. Ah! Can that be edited out, or do you have to? As you can probably hear, I did some troubleshooting. I swapped mics. I have two lav mics, three now. Two of them came with our wireless kit, and then the other one I bought separately. Apparently that one's not working great with the wireless setup, so, uh, I might have another problem to consider. We have one receiver and two transmitters, which means they're gonna share one audio channel. So if something happens with one mic, it's gonna overwrite the whole channel, basically. And I can't cut out this kind of noise right here if that ends up happening. This kind of noise right here if that ends up happening. We have the Zoom H1N handy recorder. This. Instead of going into the transmitter, it's going into this. That way, I can have two audio signals on two separate channels. I can kill one channel and keep the other. So. And as you can see, I'm wearing two Bob mics. I'm, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. I'm wearing two lavalier mics so that I can compare pound for pound in real time the difference between these mics. One microphone is hooked up to the wireless transmitter. Another is hooked up to my handy recorder. And in case of an absolute emergency, we also have the internal microphone on my camera, giving us three separate channels to pick from. Let the testing begin. Without a sign, her booth hinted at our trade only by the shelves of stock Android parts that crowded the walls. It was squeezed into a shady cove between a used net screen dealer and a silk merchant, both of whom frequently complained about the tangy smell of metal and grease that came from Cinder's booth, even though it was usually disguised by the aroma of... The aroma of honey buns from the bakery across the square. Cinder knew they really just didn't like being next to her. A stained tablecloth divided Cinder from the browsers as they shifted past. The square was filled with shoppers and hawkers, children and noise, the bellows of men as they bargained with robotic shopkeepers, trying to talk the computers down from their desired profit margins. The hum of ID scanners and monotone voice receipts as money changed accounts. The net screens that covered every building and filled the air. The chatter of advertisements, news reports, gossip. Center's auditory interface dulled the noise into a static thrumming, but Today, one melody lingered above the rest that she couldn't drown out. A ring of children were standing just outside her booth, trilling. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. And then laughing hysterically as they collapsed to the pavement. A smile tugged at Cinder's lips. Not so much the nursery rhyme, a phantom song about pestilence and death that had regained popularity in the past decade. The song itself made her squeamish. But she did love the glare from passersby as the giggling children fell over in their paths, the inconvenience of having to swarm around the writhing bodies stirred grumbles from the shoppers, and Cinder adored the children for it. Well, I think I have run enough. I'm hoping that this audio speaks for itself. Again, I have here on channel two, the H1N handy recorder, my wireless, uh, transmitter here, I'm confused by it, but in terms of it being a wireless transmitter, that worked really well for me. I liked that. The kit comes with two of these transmitters. I'm 
very hesitant to use two of them because they'll end up sharing an audio channel because there's only one receiver. That's why I'm suggesting we do this at the wedding. We use one for the groom, one for the bride. We can only do two channels of audio, but we have this recording device and we have two channels on the, on the camera. So a total of three channels of audio. Let me know what you think of these. And uh, let me know if my plan sounds sound or uh, if I'm talking craziness. I'm tired. It is midnight. I'm going to go make a pizza and play Horizon Forbidden West. Highly recommend the game. Bad ending, but very well made game. Did I stop the recording? What do I have now?